the new episode. What are you staring at? Stars, planets, rockets and satellites. I've always wanted to become an astronaut. Oh, I understand. Space is very exciting. Would you also want to become an astronaut and travel to space? Or an astronomer and study the space? One day your dreams may come true. Today, you can take the first step on this journey. Ready? Let's switch on, on our brains, put our thinking, thinking hats on, and learn about space. Where did she go? Let's go! Let's go! Science, you and me. David, I'm here. Wow, being in space is so amazing. Okay, let me tell you a bit about it. You see that big blue sphere behind me? That's Earth. We live on it. The Earth has a solid surface made of rocks. We call the Earth a planet. Our planet is rotating around the sun. But the sun is not a planet. It's a star. It's a great ball made of extremely hot gas and shining bright. Look, there are also other planets rotating around the sun. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune. Some planets have moons around them. The Earth has one moon. Mars has two moons. But guess what? The Saturn has at least 82 moons. Can you imagine? All these bodies together, the Sun, planets, and moons, are called the solar system. In the solar system, there are also billions of smaller objects, pieces of rocks, ice, and dust. The solar system is really big. Even our nearest object, the moon, is around 375,000 kilometers from Earth. If you wanted to ride a bicycle for 375,000 kilometers, day and night, do you know how long that would take? Over two years. The sun is even farther, around 150 million kilometers from the Earth. You will circle this distance for over 850 years. The passenger jet airplane would fly distance to the sun for 19 years. If only airplanes could fly in space. Most distant planet in the solar system is Neptune. It is almost 30 times farther from Earth than the Sun. Our star, the Sun, and our solar system seem to be big, but they are just a small part of something much bigger, a group of hundreds of billions of stars called a galaxy. Our galaxy is called the Milky Way. You can see our galaxy when the night is really dark and there is not much light around you. You can see it as a brighter stripe on the sky. It looks like milk spilled on dark sky. That's why it's called the Milky Way. This brighter color comes from the billions of stars shining far, far away. It's very difficult to imagine how big the distances between the planets and the stars are. Let me help you. Take one grain of sand and put it on your hand. If we assume that the grain of sand is the sun, the solar system will be the size of your palm. And the Milky Way galaxy with billions of other stars will be the size of 
Africa, yes. When we compare our star, the sun, with the galaxy, it's like the grain of sand and the entire African continent. But it's still not the end of the story. Milky Way is not the only galaxy. There are billions of galaxies. All of them together are called the universe. Science, you and me. I love watching the stars too, but sometimes there are clouds in the sky and you can't see the stars. Don't worry. Let me show you how to make your own starry sky. You need just a cardboard box, a pin or a needle, and a pen or pencil. Punctuate the box with a pin to create the pattern of a constellation. You can try to make the real existing constellation or invent your own constellation. Just use your imagination. Draw your pattern or constellation and puncture holes using your needle along the outline. Then direct the punctuated bottom towards the light. It can be the sun or the lamp. Do you see the stars shining inside the box? Now you have your own model of the night sky. Yvonne is in space, but I can also show you something interesting here from the studio. All the planets in the solar system move around the sun. Imagine this ball is the sun, and this ball is the Earth. One full circle around the sun takes the Earth one year. This movement of our planet around the sun causes the changes of seasons. In some countries, there are dry and rainy seasons. And in other countries, there are spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Seasons repeat every year at the same time, because every year at the same time, the Earth is in the same position relative to the Sun. The Earth not only moves around the Sun, but it also spins like this. One rotation takes exactly 24 hours. Our sun sends out light and heat in every direction. Some of this light and heat reach the Earth, but only half of the Earth gets the light. This part that is facing the sun. On that part of the Earth, we have day. The other part of the Earth is in the dark shadow. There is night on that part of the planet. Why do we have changes of day and night? Let's try to understand. Imagine this pin is your house. Your house is in the dark now because the light from the sun falls on the opposite side of the Earth. But remember, our planet is spinning. Your house slowly, slowly comes to the place where the sun rays fall. This is the moment when you can see the first sun rays. It's called sunrise and the day begins. Look, now you are in the full light. The sun seems to be at the highest place in the sky. This is noon and middle of the day. The day continues and you can now see less and less sun. This is the evening and at a certain moment you can see the last sun rays. This is sunset or dusk. The night begins. But the earth spins on and in a few hours you would see the sun again. How to make a face mask at home? All you need is a piece of fabric and two rubber bands. Ready to wear. Ready to wear and look stylish. Let's go. Let's go. We are learning every day. So, 
like I was demonstrating. I'm glad you're back. Yes. Oh, that was a great ride. Hmm, I can only imagine. Do you know that the Earth, our planet, is flying very fast through space? It travels around the sun with a speed of over 107,000 kilometers per hour. It means 30 kilometers in just one second. What's more, the Earth is rotating. If you live near the equator, for example, in Uganda, Kenya, or Gabon, you are rotating together with the Earth, almost 1,700 kilometers per hour. Wait, what? If you spin fast on a merry-go-round, you must really hold tight, otherwise you will be thrown out. If we spin so fast on the Earth, why don't we all come off the Earth and fall to space? Good point, David. But there is a strong force that keeps us all on our planet. It's called gravity. Gravity is a natural force that brings objects together. Between these balls, there is gravity. They try to get together when they touch each other, but the force is very, very weak because our balls are really small and light. If the objects are heavier, the gravity is stronger. If the object is as heavy as the planet, the gravity is really strong. The gravity is also getting stronger when the objects are closer to each other. For example, now it's stronger. Now the gravity between the balls is weaker. So, if something is as big as a planet and we are standing on it, the gravity is really strong, right? Yes, David, try to jump. <sighs> you see, David was in the air for part of a second, and the gravity brought him back to Earth. This is why you don't fall off to space, even though our planet is still spinning and rotating extremely fast. And how about other planets and moons? Do they also have gravity? Of course they do! But other planets and moons are of different sizes and mass. So they have different gravity than our planet. For example, Gravity of our moon is six times smaller than on Earth. This means that you can jump much easier and fall down six times slower than on Earth. The astronauts who landed on the moon had a lot of fun with this small gravity. I was rolling on the moon one day In a merry, merry month of December oh, May, May When and here comes the Foxy twin. But if you ever travel to Jupiter, you will feel extreme gravity. The gravity of Jupiter is 2.5 times stronger than on Earth. It means that you will be 2.5 times heavier than you are here. Imagine that you weigh almost 200 kilograms and you cannot move your hands or leg. It feels so heavy. You mean like this? <laughs> Gravity will hold your spaceship on the ground. We need to build rockets with powerful engines that are stronger than the gravity. But before we do that, we will begin with a simple rocket powered with air. We will need printing paper or old newspaper, adhesive tape or duct tape, scissors, a thin 50 centimeter plastic tube, three quarters or half an inch in diameter, elastic PVC tubing or a rubber inner tube from a bicycle wheel, and a large empty soda or water bottle. And last but not least, some cardboard we got from a box. First, we need to make a body of our rocket. Roll the paper tightly around the plastic tube and glue it with your glue or adhesive tape so it keeps the shape. If you don't have paper, use old newspaper instead. Squeeze one end of your rocket and secure it with a closed adhesive tape. This will become the top of your rocket. Strengthen the opposite end of your rocket with a ring of adhesive tape. Make a nose cone of your rocket. 
You can roll a cone from paper and glue it to the front of your rocket. Now you need to make the three or four fins to stabilize your rocket, otherwise it will not fly straight. Tape the fins around the bottom end of your rocket and voila, you have a paper rocket. Here is a different rocket made from a bottle. Time to make the starting device. We need to connect the plastic tube and the bottle with elastic tubing. Make sure that both joints are tightly secured with the tape. Otherwise, the air will escape from our starting machine and the rocket will not fly very high. Now it's time to launch our rocket. Remember, always stay safe when performing experiments. Never direct the rocket towards someone or yourself. If you want to be an astronaut, you must be a very careful and responsible person. Let's put our rocket on the starting machine and begin our countdown. Three, two, one, go! Wow, great start! To launch the rocket again, simply blow some air inside the bottle like this. You can also build different kinds of rockets with your friends or family and compare how high or how far they can fly. rockets are not pushed by the starting mechanisms, don't they have engines and fuel on board? How do they fly? How do they win against gravity? The discovery that made rocket flight possible was made almost 350 years ago by a genius English scientist called Isaac Newton. He noticed that for every action in nature, there is an equal reaction in the opposite direction. If you hit the wall with your fist, it hurts. Why? Because at the same time, the wall hits you with the same force. Just like this. When you walk, you push the ground with your feet. This is action. And the ground pushes you back. This is reaction. And this reaction makes you move when you walk. If we inflate a balloon, just like this, and we let it fly. Whoa, it flies, why? The air is escaping from the balloon. This is action. So there must be a reaction in the opposite direction. And here we have it. The balloon is flying in the opposite direction. This is our reaction. And this is exactly how a space rocket works. It burns fuel inside its giant engine, producing a lot of hot gases. The gases rush out of the rocket towards the Earth. This is action. The reaction is the rocket taking off in the other direction to the sky. The faster the gases leave the rocket, the faster the rocket gets pushed towards the sky. There are times when we feel sad, angry, or worried. This is normal and happens to everyone, but it can prevent us from doing well at school, sports, or from enjoying our time with friends and family. Here's how to calm your body, clear your mind, and deal with troubling feelings. Let's learn how to focus and feel good again. Lay down or sit comfortably and relax your body. Close your eyes. We'll practice something called space breathing. First, breathe in gently through your nose and breathe out through your mouth. Now, we'll leave a space between each breath and count in between. First to one, then to two, then to three, four, and five. If you need to take a breath sooner, you can and should at any point you feel like it. Let's practice together. 
Breathe in, breathe out, and hold your breath as I count one. Breathe in, breathe out, and hold your breath as I count one, two. Breathe in, breathe out, and hold your breath as I count one, two, three. Breathe in, breathe out, and hold your breath as I count one, two, three, four. Breathe in, breathe out, and hold your breath as I count one, two, three, four, five. Well done. Gently open your eyes. Feel the space you have created in your mind. Repeat this exercise next time you need to feel calm and relax. Hi kids, my name is Susan and I'm joining you from Kenya. I heard you've been learning about the moon and our solar system. Well, do you know what this is? This is a telescope, and I use it to look up in the sky and look at our universe, look at the stars and the planets and our moon. Now, through this telescope, I can see that the moon is darker than it actually looks like because it's reflecting light from the sun. I can also see details on the moon. It has craters and mountains, and it's such a nice sight to see. I really think every kid should have a chance to at least look at the telescope once in their life. Are you a teacher? Do you want to be part of our show? The Africa Teacher Challenge is on. Record a two minute video lesson on a subject you are passionate about. Upload it on YouTube and send us the link on ngntvafrica at gmail.com. If we use your video in our show, you will receive 150 US dollars. Let's go. It's time for a brain booster. Name as many planets rotating around the sun as you can remember. There are eight planets circling around the sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Why does day change to night? And why does night change to day? Because of the rotation of the sun. Because of the changes in the clock. Because of the way the Earth spins around its center. It's because of the way the Earth spins around its center that day changes to night, night changes to day, and so on. The invisible force that keeps us on the ground and makes things fall is called... Gravity! It is also the reason why a mango falls from the tree when it's ripe and why a ball will always fall on the ground after you throw it up in the air. Well done. Hey, physical activity is very important because the mind and the body are connected. By keeping your body active, you keep your mind sharp. You don't need a gym membership or fancy equipment to do it. Astronauts exercise for two hours every day. Let's do part of the workout and strengthen our core. Exercise number one is march with twist. Let's do this. Change. Good. And exercise number two uh, is single leg split. Let's split our leg together. And 
चेंज गुड एंड एक्सरसाइज नंबर थ्री इज चेयर पोज विथ ट्विस्ट लेट्स डू द चेयर पोज एंड ट्विस्ट That was really good. Try to do that every day until next time we meet. Too much of We are learning every day. Wow. That was a stellar learning experience. Indeed. I'm over the moon with all that we have discovered today. Wait. You're back on planet Earth. You're not over the moon. <laughs> It's just an expression. It means that I'm very happy. Oh, I see. Well, I would really like to go to space now. Would you? Let's go. Remember kids, keep on learning, keep on inquiring and keep on discovering. Are you enjoying Engine? Post your comments on our Facebook or Instagram page at Engine TV Africa. Has the show changed the way you look at science, the way you approach learning, the way you see the world around you? Let us know and you might be invited to appear on the show. Wow.